Hello one and all, this is Hybrid Steel. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. Now I've been asked a lot of times and certain comments come across in the videos. Dude, I've run out of money. I haven't got enough money. I'm level this and I still don't have enough money. What can I do? Alright, I get it. There are people out there who still they're having trouble with money. And I get it. It, it. In fairness, this game is a little bit more of a beast than it was in 2018. So, first things first, your levels. So, when I first started this, this is the first thing I aim for, is the 5% discount on parts. Number one, because when you're at the beginning of the game, you have to basically buy parts. So, you might as well buy them for a little bit cheaper, right? So, my advice would be to get to level 1. When you get to level 1 by doing little missions and so on and so forth, aim for small missions to start with. So, things like one job, like break jobs are the easiest thing you can do. Earns a little bit of money and it works really well. Get to level 1, unlock this. And then when you go up more and more levels, unlock this and get to renovate a level 3 and aim for the 15% discount. That is your first tip, right? Go up a shed ton of levels. But at the beginning of the game, not so, you know, you have to work your ass off. My next tip would be to buy this, which is the welder, and the battery charger. Five and a half thousand dollars, and you two will have an amazing time. These two things together, by the way, will make you money. You have to spend money to make money. Joys of being in a garage. Next thing, what I want to do, God, we'll go to the car auction. Now, you can do this from the junkyard, but in order to buy a car from the junkyard, you need like, I think it's like five, six grand minimum that I've seen cars in there for. If you go to the car auction, sometimes you can skim them a little bit cheaper, you know, it's depending on their quality. Booyah. So here we are. We're not going to go here because this place is way too expensive. We're going to go to the salvage car section. Now the reason why we're going to the salvage car section is we need a car. We need a donor. I need to show you how to do stuff. And I can't buy these two because they're goddamn mod cars and I've got to be honest, I love the mod cars. I just can't show you in here. Right, so I'm going to buy... Actually, we'll go for the bolt roulette first. I want it. The only thing this car needs is a battery. And there's our battery. That's all we need. The rest of this car, it actually doesn't matter how bad this car is in condition-wise. We can make money from this as long as it's got a battery. That's my first piece of advice. Find a junk car that has a battery in it. And then buy it. So later on you get the ability to be able to see this. So we want to spend less than 2400 but it actually won't bother me. Well, good. And that's all I needed to have. Right. So it doesn't matter how much I just spent on that car. This works for every car that you can find with a battery in it. If not, I mean, it means you have to buy a battery. This isn't all about that. It's all about making money from a, a small investment. So yeah, the only criteria you need is a car with a battery. That's why you like going to the auction, because in fairness, the auction, you're going to find cheap cars in there. 99% of the time, they have a battery in them. And the battery is the only thing we need, really. So what you want to do is you want to remove the battery. And the reason why you want to remove the battery is because when you bought your two tools, one of them was the battery charger. Already, this is going to make us money. But I need you, I need to show you this first. So let me just put the battery back in, and then I'll show you how much the value of the car is. So if I was to sell this car right now, I'm going to lose $343. That's not what I want to do. So what I want to do is I want to take the battery out, all right? And then I'm going to waddle over here and charge the battery. And then we're going to waddle back over here. We're going to sit on the car and we're going to pop the battery in. For free, this car is now worth minus 100. So that's good. We've just taken minus 200 profit. We're, at, we're almost in money. Now the other thing you can do when you get to full-on restorer and you've bought your tools and everything else, because at the moment I'm just going to show you what to do with a welder. I'm not going to show you how to do the rest of it, because this is, in fairness, these are a little bit more advanced, but you definitely need them. Now with the welder, you move the equipment to number one. This costs you five grand. And every time you use it, it's going to cost you 500 there we go and now we'll pop this back I don't need it anymore and we'll click on this and we can now sell the car for a profit of 1,985 credits pushing this car's value to 4,762 which is amazing 
you know we've just made money by just having that and charging the battery now the other way to make money is this washing the car doesn't actually make you money but doing this does so we'll do this we will use the equipment and we will splash it around a little bit and then we'll put it back amazing isn't it right and the reason why this makes you money is because you've conditioned the frame and the interior for 500 quid and now we're making 4022 credits off of this one car now the other way to make money for free is when you expand the garage now okay partially it's not really for free because you have to buy the abilities to do this other ways to make money in this game are if you're if you're working for customers and they need body panels done you can repair body panels in here which means you don't have to buy new parts all you have to do is renovate them to make money the brake lathe is another way of saving yourself 100 quid every time you buy a brake disc now for most customers they'll come in and they'll be like hey my brakes are a bit shot blah 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 so as you can see this is a bit of a ruined brake disc and repairing this well buying a new one costs you 100 each time i've also taken the bonnet off this car just to show you what else you can do for making money now if you're buying a junk car but it's all orange parts this is where this comes into mind you can't repair anything that's red but you can repair orange parts and just repairing parts when you're playing this game is so much cheaper than buying new and what i'll do is i'll show you so this is a brake disc ventilated so this costs absolutely nothing apart from going up levels to actually buy this for your garage. Lathing a brake doesn't cost you anything and this is one of the best things you can have in the garage. It saves you around 400 every time you do a car. Just lathe the brakes and they're all clean and 100%. Now like I said if you're buying junk cars or you're buying auction cars sometimes it's always best to like look into this. So we just did a brake disc uh, ventilated so one of these. Each one of those is 100 quid. If you if you like take two of those it's going to cost you 200 or for the small price of however much it costs to get it on the tool bench you buy the lathe and it starts saving your money straight away and when it comes to the body panels like this is the car that we're working on and this is the hood it's 350 credits that's quite an expensive part because it's a proper body part now we just spent 43 quid renovating it to 100 percent which means we can walk back over to here we can put the brake disc back on the car and then when you put the hood back on it almost looks like a brand new hood and all I did was repair it now these are things these are out small ways of you making money on off of customers now the more shortcuts you can give yourself is the better and like I said if you, as soon as you've got money and you're basically taking this this is a 15% discount the reason why a 15% discount is good and I'll go back here and we'll go into the gearbox section is because of the like mainly the gearboxes themselves are freaking expensive most of these gearboxes as you can see they're a grand each sort of thing and it's like that's really expensive that's that's ridiculous i mean this one's three thousand this is for a v this is for a v6 this is a brand new engine with that 15 percent discount you're knocking off 200 dollars or now well, we're looking we're knocking off nearly 500 dollars and that's good if you can make things cheaper for yourself then why won't you and that's how you make money this game the idea is to cut corners or like make sure you've got the skills and everything else that you're going for and this is why i advise and it doesn't matter who asks me the first things you should buy me personally is the five percent discount and work through the renovation thing everything else will stack up as you go because as you go up levels you're going to want to sort of upgrade but the first things i went through was literally the renovator and up to basically earning money and that was it that's all i did and the reason why I did that is just because that's how I make money. So yeah, those two things. So the main the main boards you want to go down, making money in this game. You want to click in your toolbox, you want to click you want to go through the renovator, you also want to hit this on your first thing. So 5% discount, go through renovation. The things you want to be buying straight after that is you want to buy the welder and the battery charger. These will make you money and if you can just replace the battery for everyone, it's all good. It's free. Then when you expand the garage, this should be your next upgrade. Not this. 
This is pretty much useless unless you're having one of your colors working on at the same time. This is the first upgrade you should buy, the garage expansion. And the reason why is because it unlocks this, the lathe, it unlocks the workbenches, unlocks the repair station, unlocks the engine tool. All of this stuff is separate from these four items because these four items cannot be unlocked until you've got this. When you want to do valet, uh, valeting cars, you have to buy the car wash because that's when you get the equipment in. So that would be the way I would do it. And then everything else basically follows. You're going to buy the paint in the shop eventually. You're going to buy the dyno eventually. You're going to buy storage eventually. You're going to buy the test path eventually. But the first things you want to be buying straight away would be the garage expansion and then all your tools. And then when it comes to leveling up, restoration, and the 15% voucher on all your tools and parts, you well, the 15% voucher on the parts that you're going to be buying. And that's basically it. And then I've just showed you how to make money off of a rust bucket that you can buy from anywhere as long as the car has a car battery. You have to make sure it's got a battery in it. So always look into the car before you buy it, which is a plus side to the auction system in this game. So you want to look into the car. If it's got a battery, you're, you're almost guaranteed to make money with just the battery charger and the welder alone. But it's always good to valet as well. You'll make money off. Uh, hopefully this video has helped you. I, I'm not sure if that answers everybody's questions and if it doesn't let me know in the comment section below i'd love to hear your thoughts but that's basically everything i can think of on how to make money in car mechanic simulator 2021 if there is anything else i'd love to hear your thoughts like i said because at the end of the day the reason why this video is being made is because you guys are letting me know what your problems are i will keep making videos for people as long as you guys have got like problems suggestions or anything else but everything you're saying is most appreciated gives me an idea of what you guys are looking for it means i can help out more people to enjoy this game so thank you very much for joining me this has been hybrid still if you have enjoyed this don't forget to hit the like subscribe and notification button below for all other updates and i'll be back here with a brand new video live stream or whatever else i do on this channel until then i want to say thank you very much for popping by i'll see you all later peace out have fun and enjoy everything you guys do bye bye for now